so you're thinking about becoming a goalie. What are some things that you should know before you start? Let's find out together, coming up next. Voice over goalie. Hey, Wayne the voiceover goalie here. My channel is all about bringing you awesome goalie content. So if you've liked, subscribed, or commented on one of my videos, you are totally awesome. So one of the things that I get asked a lot is how do I start playing goal? People often have questions about what kind of equipment they should buy and just how they get started in general. So I thought I'd make a video about three things that I wish I knew before I started to hopefully help some of you out there. Now, before we get into it, if you're a longtime goalie and have something that you wish someone told you before you started, let us all know in the comments below. And I'm serious about this because one of the things people tell me all the time is, while my videos are helpful, one of the best things about these videos is the comments section below. And how all the comments are just so much nicer and more helpful than the majority of YouTube comments out there. So seriously, props to you for your comment. You know what, and while you're commenting, click that share button and share this video with your teammates. Because I know on every team, there's that one player who fancies themselves as a wannabe goalie. So tip number one, goaltending is physically demanding. And I know I've talked about this in the past where you have to be an athlete to be a goaltender, and that's totally true. But more than that, when you play goal, you're using certain muscle groups and biomechanic movements that you very rarely do in real life. So say for example, dropping to your knees. Let's do a little experiment. Go find yourself a pillow and drop down to your knees as you would naturally. Now most of you would probably drop down like this. But really, when you're talking about dropping to your knees as a goalie, you're really talking about going to your knees and flaring out your legs. But it's also twisting your ankles so that you are able to engage your skate blades. So understand that this could be a really unnatural movement for a lot of new goalies. And another thing you have to be worried about. <laughs> and one other thing, if you're coming from another... And another thing, if you're coming from a sport like baseball, where you're used to catching something with your left hand, while that's generally a good skill to have and it will apply to being a goalie, the mechanics of it are different. So when we're talking about baseball and you're in a ready stance while you're fielding the ball, the natural tendency is to get that glove on any ball that comes your way. So whether that be to your glove side or to your backhand side. Now with goaltending, it's a little different because you never want to turn your body away from that puck. So instead, it's trying to tra retrain your body to move against, kind of counterintuitive to what you're used to doing. And that brings me to point number two, and that is equipment. You know, I get asked a lot, what kind of equipment should I buy? I'm a new goalie. What kind of pouch should I buy? What kind of mask should I buy? What stick size should I get? And what it really boils down to is that the equipment that you buy right now is not going to be your forever equipment, which means that you should buy what you can afford just to get on the ice to actually start because that is the biggest hurdle in becoming a goalie. Now there are a couple exceptions and those are, I would buy the most protective mask that you can afford because that is going to be your most important piece of equipment when it comes to your safety. From a performance standpoint, you wanna make sure you buy proper fitting skates. You know, my philosophy on it is that if you can't skate, you can't get in position to make a save. And if you'd like to learn more about what I think the most important piece of equipment is, check out this video over here. But when it comes to other things like pads and gloves, understand that as a beginner, you are going to figure out what your preference is when it comes to certain aspects of those kinds of equipment. You know, today's modern pads are basically constructed the same way, with manufacturers making different tweaks and adding different features to their gear just to cater to certain goalies' preferences. But when it comes to the overall protectiveness and how they play, the design of most modern pads today is the same. So that means if you're going for something in the used market that's a couple years old, a couple generations old, that will give you a good starting off point to figure out what you want as your skills develop. The same goes for things like your glove and for your stick. You'll get a feel of what brake feels best on your hand for your glove and also the kind of the sizing of the paddle. 
but between you and me, I would err for a shorter paddle than a longer paddle. But know that you're gonna go through a bunch of different pads in your quest to find what ultimately works for you. At least I know I did. And that brings me to my third point. Understand you might suck when you first start playing. You know, we all have our different reasons for a playing goal. And um, some of it might be you're coming from a, you know, you've played street hockey and you have a natural gifted propensity or you played goal in another sport like soccer or lacrosse. But know that when you first start playing ice hockey as a goalie, you are not gonna stop every single shot. In fact, you will probably get scored on a lot. And that really boils down to, you know what, everybody when they start something new has a learning curve. It doesn't mean that you are going to be a bad goalie forever. It just means that you need some practice and some hours of playing and saves under your belt to start playing the game at the level you think you should be playing at. And the most important thing is just to get out there and start doing it. If you knew it would take you 100 hours of ice time to get to the point where you wanted to be in your goaltending skills, you'd do it, right? That'd be like two skates a week for a year. And believe me, I know, it takes me about 100 times of doing something before I feel comfortable in doing it on a regular basis. You are totally awesome. You are totally awesome. You are totally awesome. You are totally awesome. The bottom line is, it is never too late to start something new, especially playing goal. I know, I did a video on it. But if you're a new goalie or you're thinking about it and you still have some questions, drop them down in the comments below. Generally, I'm able to respond to comments and questions within the first 24 to 48 hours of a video being posted. But I'm not the only one that comments on these videos. So if you drop a comment, I'm sure another member of the community will be more than happy to answer your question. All right, I think this guy's done with this. So everyone out there, have a happy holiday season, whatever it is that you celebrate, and uh, we'll see you again real soon.